Oh my gosh. Hi, you guys. This is Ginger Cook. And that uh, happy little bird sound reminds me that it's time to do our live acrylic painting show. This is a surprise Thursday where I don't know what we're painting. Uh, we know it's going to be an acrylic 6x8, something John picked out. And what's what he told me to tell you was it's really a surprise because when I turn my iPad on, I will have the image. But we're not going to show you till it's done. Nobody I don't know why. <laughs> You're going to just follow along with me. Those of you who watch our live shows before we put up a thumbnail have the fun of discovery, just like me. So <laughs> follow along, and we'll see you in a couple of mi uh, minutes after we... <laughs> to do this doesn't work too bad well i can't i can't hang up if i hang up we have to create a whole new room yeah how many we have we are going to do a giveaway if possible yes yeah we're going to try to so basically so nobody heard my introduction i uh, no, that should have come through because the sound just didn't come back on when we were come back from actually on i'm gonna and you're gonna love it oh my god john you're kidding no Oh, good lord. You know, it's been so hot, I thought something cool and delicious would be in order. Okay. I know okay. we have ice cream but for our show, our, the VLL that we did for the Academy. Let's don't even talk anymore. Let's, if it's a surprise, it's a surprise. Yeah, it is a surprise. So, all right, so we're not going to get to this, but don't give any more hints, right? No, no, no. No, zip it up, right? We're going to need that perfect, that perfect purple uh, background. And month so we are and this is probably the last kit we're doing and this is probably the last giveaway kit that we're going to be doing from salvador and so uh, they're willing to mail this anywhere in the world so you want to be well they do not use because somebody asked they wrote in and they want to know if it's going to come usps which is united states postal service and michelle said no so it's being shipped we don't know how it gets there. Because it's not it our depends problem. on we it depends. Do it. Yeah, it depends on where in the country in the world it's going. Depends on how it's going to be shipped. So we don't know, you guys. We have no idea. I just want to make sure that you know you, you said that, and that kind of might throw people off. Well, I don't know why. I'm not mailing it. You're not shipping it. It's, they're doing it, right? <laughs> so somebody's going to get one. But how you're going to enter? We're going to give you the uh, link to a later how in the to show. enter a little later in the show. Yeah. Okay. And I want to take a moment right now to congratulate my daughter. <laughs> You know, you guys. <laughs> but and our 80,000. Yeah, 600. So anyway, congratulations on that. So you uh, couldn't even put out the colors before the show because I didn't show you what it was. No, it didn't show me what we wanted to put out. But I, I tell could, you, it's, it's it, cruelly it, animals be, today. This will be sort of fun. And um, uh, and that's a good thing because I can... V, because your video. Is that right? <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Go for it. Okay, so I'm going to do a little vlogging for you. I want to thank everyone who has joined uh, as a basic supporter for our, for four ninety five a month. I want to thank everybody that's done that. What that gives you is not only access to watching, if you go to the Beginner Acrylic Academy site and watch our videos, um, anything from 2020 seems to be pretty much one ad or none. We don't know. We're going to be addressing we, that, though. We don't, know, we don't know why, but it seems to be, and we're going to work on trying to thing to fix it. Uh, it's something that, there's nobody home at, at YouTube. There's nobody home anywhere. There's nobody home at Macy's. Oh, don't there's nobody home anywhere. There. Don't get me started on who's not home, right? But um, as for sharing the videos, and for, and the thing is, if you're a, member, a 495 and up supporter, you, you know, our regular Academy members, of course, you have access to the beginner. You just have to sign up and let John know, and you get in there, sign too. Up a, sign up a free account. Don't free, sign pay up a for free it. Account. Don't pay for it. Sign up for a free account. But those of you who have done that, you know, what that gives you is the, the, the images of my picture, photographic uh, uh, traceables, gives you grids. So if we have a grid, we give you that too, plus um, uh, the uh, 
quarantine uh, quickies will eventually all be on there and only accessible to see their over 60 videos. And then we give you uh, uh, these, the challenge you videos. You get to watch those. So um, there's a lot you get for $4.95 a month. And we think that and what it does is it helps us, uh, what would you say? Pay um, the bills. Pay the bills, sure. <laughs> Bottom line, and, and it's a nice, pay the bills. And it's really kind of a nice appreciation. And the thing of it is, is that while it is a recurring charge, all you have to do is just sign up for one month and then unrecur it. Unrecur it? Yeah. That would be unsubscribe. Well, there you go. See? <laughs> unrecur it. Unrecur it, right? But uh, we got a letter. I got a, a message from on Facebook the other day from a lady that was just so hateful to me. I mean, what... You know, I, I can't believe you just uh, you just did all this and you, you know, it really sounded like she felt we were somehow trying to cheat her because she, she had signed up and couldn't figure out how to get back. And uh, even though she was a member of, had been a member of our Facebook club and could have asked anybody, John stays up till 3 in the morning asking, answering emails. We are just nice people. We're not trying to screw anybody. And it was really upsetting to me to think that someone thought we had. And um, and rather than write us nicely, had been so crummy about it, right? So again, um, just keep in mind if you have any issues with us, that's what the contact us is available for. Just use it. I think I've got some paints out here now. I don't know if I have enough, but I'll put something on it. Probably I'm using the Salvador Salvadors up here. I'll probably go back to using my regular Matisse next week. But I'm, I'm using most of. I'm just kind of using my kit up. Okay, so. Um, not Matisse, but Golden. Probably Golden and Holbein next week. All right, so I've got a purple canvas. This is not paper. This is real canvas. Somebody says, how do you get those? Well, Paramount, Jerry's Arnorama sells these, and they're in a tablet of tin. They're called Paramount. And um, they also have a, a linen version, the Centurion. And you can get them on sale for use sometimes under $3 for like 10 sheets. But what John does when we have leftover paint is he just happily paints them so that we have some paint on them, because that's what you want to do, have some paint on them. So before I get too started, is anybody making comments on what I just said? Can everybody hear me about what well, I said? a good question, should we say? What? Um, they can hear you. Okay, you can hear me, right? Finally. Okay. The internet seems to be steadied back out. Let's see. Congratulations to Cinnamon. Yep, 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 yep. Anne Marie, Anna Marie, yeah, Anna Marie says, send the people to send the problem to me, and I'll take care of the mean people. Okay. <laughs> See, we've got people. We got people. Yeah, I mean, it just, just, it's just so funny to me because I mean, we just, John spends hours and hours explaining how to load. He makes special videos on how to. If you ever go to our Tech Bear channel, you want to know how to do some stuff. Um, um, that is a great channel to 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 look at because. Uh, John will make a video, for instance, on uh, how to comment um, if you're on an iPad on YouTube. I mean, if you guys have any kind of technical problems trying to do anything, you know, um, you you ask him. He makes a little video, and then it's good for everybody. So there's all these wonderful tech things on there. I don't know. What what kind of things have you done, John? Oh, I don't know. All kinds of things. Anything that comes up, how to access certain things with your tablets, your phones. Does any, is anything that comes, well, as a matter of fact, I did one last night. A gal's been having trouble logging into the website on the beginneracrylicartist.com. And for the life of me, I, I'm not sure if she's on the right site. So I created a video for her. I changed her password so I could actually log in as her and showed her how to do it and everything. And so I'm, I'm hoping, I didn't look to see if that was looked at yet, but We've had a lot of people, because we have two different sites running right now, and that is confusing a lot of people, and we apologize for that, but uh, we hope to have that rectified for the new year. But in the meantime, if you get confused where you need to be, use the contact us on any of the websites that you come across. And there's tons of them out there, and we will certainly get, take care of you. And I see that uh, PJ asked to switch her jun junior back and haven't heard. I don't remember seeing that email come in, PJ, so let's just. Let me just make a note here.
Ooh. And we'll take care of that. As you can see, she is uh, having fun, Miss Ginger. I'm just putting out some colors here. I guess I need some yellow. And I've got some red here, got some yellow and red here, and I'm going to start uh, painting this. Goldie says, if uh, you can't hear us, turn on the CC, and they will try to interpret what we're saying, which can be... Can, can, who can't hear us? No, if you can't hear us. Well, why couldn't you hear us? <laughs> well, one, we had the microphones off. And some well, people are hard of hearing. I, if you can't, turn on the, turn on the um, closed caption and it interprets. YouTube interprets. Interprets. Yeah. That and can... we're not responsible for what they say. Patricia would like to know, do you need to sand the Paramount canvas sheets before you do an underpainting? Yes. If you, you really... value your brush. You've you got to think of the rough canvas like it's like sandpaper, you know, like an emery board. And some are worse than others, but... Um, and you know, so it doesn't. It doesn't. Certainly doesn't hurt to um, to sand them. I guess that's the way I would put it. Doesn't doesn't hurt to sand them. That's that's what I. That was that's my take on all of this. John, what email do you use to contact us? One of the contact us forms on any of the websites: gingercooklive.gallery, gingercook. Live.com, gingercookauction.com. Yep, any of them. Yeah, Any so, do, do, of the contact us is the best way. So before you, you know, don't wait. You know, this lady had waited a full... She waited two months. Two months. And then she complains. I can't get on the website. Well, whose fault is that if you don't ask for help? I'm sorry. You know, you know, but that's okay. Well, we were nice. We refunded her and then cut her out of everything. Yeah, she's just no longer a club member. She's no longer anything. <laughs> the no life's too short, man. She, she, that's what she said. She goes, life is too short. I, I can only be nice to nice people who are nice to oh, me. Oh, that was on her website, too. I'm, I'm only, I, life is too short. I can only be nice to nice people. <laughs> well, apparently, she didn't, must not have thought we were nice. Oh. she wasn't being nice to us. Yeah. So that, there you go, right? Uh, wasn't going to be nice to us. Just going to, wow, it right? Is, it is very. Uh, and I see Judy posted, uh, who is John who is John Little in the Facebook group today? That was cute. Thank you for everybody and all the wonderful comments we're getting on that. Yeah, that was fun. I think, well, some people, I guess it, it never occurred Well, to me. everybody assumes that Sammy runs the show, which he does. Yeah. The bear of choice. Didn't yeah. make your debut there, bear. Yeah, I'm sure that Sammy they, bear. you know, they think that, yeah. You know, you can't. He's part of the therapy I need. You know, this light blue in Salvador is just beautiful. Look at how that goes on that dark purple. Look what that does. You know, I, I might say this is coming along exceptionally well. I probably think, yeah, so you can all be guessing, but we're not going to say, right? No. I'm not saying. I missed the reference photo. What are you painting? We're not <laughs> telling you. You missed it's the a big secret. too. There is no reference. I have the reference photo. This is a surprise. I just put it on our iPad. He put it here. on my iPad. He said, see what you can do. And I said, oh, holy shit, right? Basically what I said. <laughs> you right? can't say that. I just did, Beep. Man. Beep. I just did, man. I just did, John. Just oh, man. We're going to have to go to that. I just did. But um, uh, I'm going to get out some zinc white now. I just forgot to put out white paint. Well, I'm just a little discombobulated by all this, but that's <laughs> all right. You like that word, discombobulated? I can't Bobulated. spell it. It's though. actually discombobulated. It's not boobulated, bobulated, but that's okay. Discombobulated. Bobulated. So that's the transparent white. That's. Uh, so this is the fun part of this. You know what I mean? You, you know, when people see this tomorrow, the the reference photo will be up there. So then it won't be anywhere near as much fun, <laughs> because then you'll know, right? And then that takes all the fun out. Yes. Yes and yes. Uh, so that's so. that's 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 why you're you know you absolutely wouldn't um, wouldn't see that. Okay, this is probably dry a little bit. So um, on a brighter note, oh, it seems that we've had some activity on the auction. We do want to remind you we have one week left on the auction, gingercookauction.com. Your opportunity to own a piece of Ginger Cook legacy at wholesale pricing. 
so yeah. to speak. Yeah, it's, it's really, we've got some beautiful paintings. And did you put the thing on about the phone call? Did you put that I up I did here? not put that on the website. Oh, but darn, 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 course, darn. We, we wanted to, we suggested that last week and, th and feel very confident about doing that, is that the... Um, the uh, three highest bids will have a personal phone chat with the queen of color, the artist herself. And we're assuming that could be anywhere in the world, and we have to figure out it might be through Skype sort of or Zoom Skype or something, thing, yeah. but we can figure it out because we're smart. Yeah. Well, yeah. So anyway, that'll be fun. So we'll, we'll all have, an, we'll have a fun, friendly chat. You can tell me about what you're doing and, you know, ask questions, and we'll just uh, get some coffee and sit down and, ch have and a chat. chat. It'll be fun. So that'll somebody be Somebody needs to remember to put that on the website. We should probably give that to Chester to do. He hasn't been doing anything in the shipping department like he's supposed to be. Did we talk about... Oh, thank you, Carlina, for bringing that up. The back rack puzzle, all pieces... Are in? Are in. Woo! Assembly will start possibly this evening. Possibly this evening. Yeah. We'll start... And as Ginger says, you can start watching paint dry as I put it together. Because he always films it putting it together while he's muttering, deciding where the pieces go. And somehow he <laughs> thinks that's madly entertaining. But if you do too, <laughs> maybe you're waiting. Oh, put my piece, put my piece. You know, one of those. And uh, it'll be fun to see it because um, what's interesting about this this puzzle, right, is... Uh, are you, it, it well, we'll tell you we'll sh tell you something about it after you see what it is. Boy, there's a cliffhanger if I've ever heard one. I know. I mean, I'm being. <laughs> this is cryptic Tuesday. Maybe we Thursday. Well, cryptic. it's really Thursday, so it's really cryptic on Tuesday. <laughs> it's cryptic Thursday, don't you think so? It's cryptic Thursday. Oh my! Yes out. and yes. <laughs> it's a cryptic Thursday. So that puzzle is finally ready to assemble. That was like pulling teeth. That was a tough one. Well, the New next technique for next time, though. Next one should go better. Yes. So the auction is ending on August 8th. Various times, look at the specific piece to know what time it ends. Each, each, each piece has a supposedly a different time. That's cad red medium, if anybody wants to know what color that is. Can't beat cad red medium if you want a bright red. If you need to brighten something up, cad red medium is the color to go for. So hopefully I can get that puzzle put together over the weekend and we can get started on the next one, which I'm excited about the next one. Yeah? I'm really excited by trying the new technique to see if that will work, which I think it will. Oh, sure, absolutely. So what else we got going on? Anything else exciting? Um, yeah, um, we had a new member join the academy, and normally, I tell you what, I just go to, when I go to Facebook, I just go to the club, right? Maybe my page in the club. And, but for some reason today, I went ahead and um, was looking through the feed, you know, that's just the regular Facebook feed and stuff, you know, and I recognized uh, the painting. I just, do you have the one we were releasing, the ice cream thing? Do you have that ice cream painting, John? I want to show uh, that. Uh, if so I the, get up and go out into the hall, then go get it for you. Why don't you grab it real quick? So, um, we had this. We last week, this last week, we released in our Academy of Fine Art Acrylic Painting, where we have the personal art coaching. We release a new painting every week, and um, and it's every, sometimes it's a beginner painting, sometimes it's an advanced painting. It just depends. Yeah. So, um, anyhow. Uh, I, I spied this painting, and, and the comment had been that this was a new member, and she had so much love doing the tutorial. And I made a comment. I said, gosh, you got to put that in our Facebook club, because I hadn't seen it. And I kind of keep track of those things, believe it or not. Um, so here's the... John's going to okay, back up. Okay, wait. John's going to back up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, got to change camera, uh, change angle. Back it up. Yeah. 
Okay, right now. So um, here's the here's the painting. This was the one we released this week with the banana split. Anyway, Love it. And Love this, it. This, well, just, this is one of my favorites. And this gal had um, painted it beautifully. And I said, put it in Facebook Club. And she said, I didn't know you had a Facebook Club. So it's the Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club on Facebook. If you haven't joined, it's free. Please join. We, and I'd love to see what you're painting. And uh, particularly when you're doing my tutorials, I'd love to, you know... It kind of gauges for me, you know, how well I'm explaining things, you know what I mean? And you can also ask questions in there, like, do you think Ginger in another video could explain blah, 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 that kind of stuff, you know? So, anyway, thought I would uh, mention that. Yes, you guys should put a link up to the, to the actual group, if you could, please. Because I'm not sure if you can find it by what you're saying. I've never tried to do that. What? Ginger Cook... Acrylic, acrylic painting. painting club. Yeah. If I did a search for that, could I find it? Yeah, I think so. Ginger Cook Acrylic Painting Club. Why not? John was the first puzzle group. Oh yeah, absolutely. If you want to play again, absolutely re-sign up again. Go back to communitypuzzleproject.com and just register again. Please, if you want to play play another one, absolutely. Play as many times as you want. Because yep. the new technique that I'm going to do is I'm going to put on an announcement. Do you want to play? I'm not sending it out to pieces. You have 48 hours to respond. If you don't, I'm going to the next person, and I'm going to keep shooting them out until I get whatever, how many pieces. I think the next piece is only 64, I think. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, we, the, during, during the quarantine, right? Which we're still in, apparently. Yes. Well, yeah, so we're still in it, right? During the quarantine... Um, Everybody's just been kind of bored, and one of the things that this uh, this guy um, on psychiatrist said was that you should try to try to find things that are more fun. Does that make sense? And um, so we thought it would just be fun, just a free thing to do. Nobody has to join anything to do it except you know register on the club. You know we don't keep your mailing address. We're not looking for emails. We just really don't care. Um, we don't have time to do anything. Extra. We barely can get our own <laughs> lives together. Yet alone be looking for emails from you guys. But anyway. Um, so we thought it would be fun to put together, find a painting, and um, the first one we did was an old one of our old dead artists. Find the painting, and then uh, put it all up into what seventy pieces, or whatever it yeah, was. Yeah, wherever, wherever I can break it up. Whatever he could break it up and send it out, right? And it would be painted a little piece of that puzzle. Yeah. And then I put it back together. The first one is done. If you go back to if you go to our website, Community Puzzle Project. Dot com, and you can look at the first one and, and look at the assembly of it and see what they created, they being the artist, and what, then what the original looked like. I forgot to wear my watch, John. Oh, would you like to know time it is, Queen? Yes. It is 5.56 p.m. Central Standard Time. Oh. What do you think of that? Interesting. Interesting. Do you have something queued up so I can draw? Maybe you'd like to show that. Oh, well, we can certainly try that again. <laughs> you want to try that again? You want to try the queue up with a moment of calm? Can I, you try I've that? got it queued. We can only hope, my queen. All right. You're you going to dry? I'm going to dry this. Okay? All right. Enjoy this. 30 seconds of calm. So what'd you think of that, guys? A little calm, huh? 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 Something new. The queen suggests, "Hey, let's do this." That's our backyard. Well, that's the fountain. That's In the our backyard. That's our waterfall. Yeah. Well, we certainly hope you enjoyed that. I guess when we were talking and congratulating Cinnamon, we didn't say that it was that it was during when was the chaos. So we'd like to congratulate Cinnamon on her 600,000 subscribers. Absolutely. Wow, and if you guys don't know it, Cinnamon the Archer is my daughter, and we want to congratulate Yeah, we did congratulate her when we started the show. But it was all... So you didn't really get to hear it. 
Yeah, that fountain goes into our pool. And I made that fountain years ago. Her and a buddy. Me and a friend. We made it together. We, um, in Houston, you have to buy the rocks. <laughs> they don't have they rocks don't, you here. You can't just dig up some rocks and get get it. You have to. You have that to. was shot on an iPhone 11 in slow mo, right in the pool itself. He's so brave, isn't he? They're waterproof. I never talked to mine, though. I'm still chicken. <laughs> I don't care what they say. So, um, somebody's sort of figuring out, aren't they, by now, right? They're oh, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, uh, you guys are sort yeah, of... They, 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 well, kind of obvious now. Yeah. Well, you know, when I first came to Houston, um, there was a, we used to get the newspaper in those days, and there was a... Um, um, they had an article about a lady, and she used to order from the a block of big block of ice about the size of a a love seat, you know, <laughs> uh, maybe knee high and about uh, you know what about eighteen inches wide. And she had that delivered once a month to her house, and she'd put it there in the patio and by her pool, and then she would lie on it to sunbathe. <laughs> Jeez. Don't you think that's kind of interesting in itself? I think it's, I think it's a little silly myself. Well, I don't know. When I was a kid, see, we used to have an ice man that came to the house. That was and for the And he had a real though. ice box, and he came to the house, and he brought the ice. Because that's what they did. Incidentally, this is not a straight line. If you decide to paint this again, these lines here are not, they're, they're wiggly. Does that make sense? You want, them, you want these wiggly. You don't want them straight. Yes and yes. So, um, anyhow, he used to do that. And what I, I probably, he made such an impression on me as a little, you know, probably two, three-year-old kid, because he could take his teeth out. And uh, he would do that. My sister and I would say, oh, would you take your teeth out? And he'd take his teeth out. We just thought that was amazing. <laughs> you know, you're little. Because, you know, and then, um, uh, in the summertime, he would bring a little block of ice for us, and they'd put it out on this little marble bench in the backyard, and my sister and I would sit there and look at it. You know, times were simpler then. Nobody had iPads. <laughs> <laughs> just licking ah, ice. Ah, the good old days. L licking ice, right? Yep. I'm just saying, right? Licking ice. Um, Probably can't do that anymore. No. Well... My um, my friend is getting uh, her uh, uh oh, where's my T square? Get some of this out of the way here. It's starting to annoy me. What are you gonna do? Straighten well, something? it doesn't really matter what I'm gonna do. I need room to do it, don't I? <laughs> well, of course you do. Uh, there you go. I just this did not look straight to me. So I'm double checking it. This needs to be parallel. This does not look straight to me. It still doesn't look straight to me. It's not. And it's not. Here it is. Here it is. It does not look straight to me. That's an easy fix. Even though it can be bumpy, it still has to be sort of straight up and down. It just has got to be bumpy on the other way, right? Just sort of. Well, we'll just. Do something like that. So we'll fix it later. So, anyhow, that was funny because uh, I was just just reminiscing about the, the, the you know I the good old days the, the ice house. And in Texas, the, um, they have it's not legal in a lot of states, but in Texas, what's legal is what they call ice houses, and they they're bars where they don't have to. Um, um, they don't have to uh, have a. They can get liquor license, that, but that, that they, it's a very limited one. And they can, if you have coolers, they sell. They sell. They sell the beer and wine in the coolers. It's still in coolers, so and then they can. They don't have to have a liquor license to to be open. So they, they you know, and they usually have a pool hall and pool table or something like that. And, so you can have what you, so we can open up an ice house here and not have a liquor license. I think so. It's very limited. It just it's, it's very 
you know, it's not like what you'd normally have to have to get a liquor license. It's much, apparently much more lax. Huh. I guess that's the word I'm looking for here. Much more lax. Starting to feel like an ice cube, yeah? It really is looking like an ice cube. Yeah? Well, I will say that these blues from Salvador really kind of make it... Um, but cool. if you were painting this without it, you'd be using thalo and ultramarine blues. Those would be the two blues you'd be using to make this work. Yes, the village participants will be updated uh, now that the, the piece just came in today. So I'm, I will update that and make sure that's proper before we do any T-shirts, mugs, and et cetera, posters, and all that other stuff. So absolutely. i got to make sure I get the right people in there because this, this, was, this was just... Next one, no names are going to go up until what I'm going to do is when you send your puzzle piece in, your name will then be posted. And that way you will know I have received your puzzle piece and it's been accepted. Ooh, that's tricky. Yeah, we're getting smarter. So that's what we're doing. We're getting better as we go. It's only the second one we did, and it was better than the first. So yes, thank you, Turkey, for bringing that up. That's Denise and Turkey. Um, it's coffee time, I think, there right now, if I remember correctly. So I'm using a combination in here of zinc white and um, um, titanium. Do this. The apple's not done yet. I just thought it's it's sort of drying, so I thought I could maybe get away a little bit with them. Doing some of this, oh, adding okay. some of the stuff to the apple or the to the ice ice block. never painted a nice block, John. This was quite challenging, actually. Well, I came across, it's just been so hot down here, and I just thought, you know, this would be something nice and cool, something a little different. I thought not letting everybody see it right away, they get a little bit more of a thrill, because they're sitting there guessing, and they thought it was a cherry, they thought it was a toaster to begin with. I mean, in the very beginning, you couldn't tell it what it was going to be. But then as it became more ice-shaped, and they kind of pulled it all together. Well, we've done an awful lot of apple paintings. Yeah, I think uh, I put a couple over there for you to show. That's from our academy. We have a, there are three in our little series there that really teach you the blending and getting the colors right on that. I mean, those are some of our beginner, beginner, intermediate. I think there's one that said, is, uh, well, if you got it, grabbed it, there's one that said danced. Is that way over on the other side? In the okay, no? so um, all right, let's just th th we're doing pretty good here. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. Mm -hmm. Just uh, looking good. I need to pull tuck this in a little tighter right here. There you go. So now let's keep working on the apple. Now that we've had a little chance for the apple to dry. Chris Cross says it was zero degrees centigrade this morning. She's down in uh, Australia. That's 32 degrees. Is there some winter? This winter. Oh, so maybe. As we're up here in 90 degrees, she's down there in zero degrees. You know, it seems fair. Yeah, that's cold. I remember those days in Michigan. Don't miss them. No, right? Not at all. I love apples because you can just layer the colors.
Which is kind of neat too, right? It's 59 in Sweden. Wow, huh? Is it getting to be winter? It must be getting to be winter. It certainly isn't down here yet. We're at, what, 93 today. Hmm. Now, when you're doing that, your brush is very basically dry, right? Yeah, just, I just keep wiping it off, barely have any paint on it. And, uh... So it's a dry brushing technique. Yeah, so just, just barely have it any paint. In, in this case, I just have it on one side of the brush. For the highlight on the stem. And, uh... Ooh, I'm going to put a leaf in there, too. Oh, you are so clever. L.A. has been rocking and rolling today. Swarms of shallow earthquakes since 4.30 a.m. No kidding. Boy, my friend, talking to my friend Joe t today in Ventura, and she, she, she didn't anything? mention it. No. So I thought it was interesting, just as a piece of trivia, you know, not that pertaining to painting or anything, but she and I were chatting, and she's going in on Monday to get um, um, a knee replacement. And she's had one done, and they're doing the other one. And um, she was saying that when she got home, um, the doctor wanted her, was very concerned about germs, clean, clean sheets every day. Um, and clean towels, which I thought was sort of interesting. You know, I don't know why I thought that. I, I just basically because John and I have this sort of running um, argument when we're cruising, they want you to use the same towel again and save the whales or save somebody, right? And I thought if they wanted to save the whales, they wouldn't be, um, they wouldn't be uh, keeping buildings cruise ships if they really cared about that. So it couldn't be my towel or keep adding extra rooms, right? It couldn't be my towel. My feeling was that, um, you know, we'd paid for the cruise. I was going to get a clean towel. So there, nan -nan. So <laughs> just, But now I'm armed with even a better idea because I had no idea that, um, that there could be germs on a towel and that, you know, for maybe for your health you would want to, if somebody was willing to, you know, give you a clean towel every day that maybe that would be a good thing, particularly when everybody's so germ conscious now on cruising. Yes? What do you think, John? I, I'm sorry, I still don't. You don't get it? No. That, didn't, that didn't resonate with you? That, it really didn't. That didn't seem like a great argument to you? It seemed no. like a good argument to me. No. No. Wow, I'm so, I'm so shocked, right? Because I would for sure think that that would be like the best argument best explanation ever <laughs> about why you would um, why you want to do that why you would want to do that I think once a year is good enough so um, what what are you saying what what did you just say <laughs> <laughs> me say something oh no 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 I didn't say a thing he said something you guys didn't he Mm. Well, um, let's see. What can we do? Wherever there's a light, there's a dark. Have you put out the? Oh, the, yeah, that's a you good wanna, idea. You want to enter? Be sure to enter. Can they enter now for their? Um, yeah, it should be win? entering shortly. I got to get the link ready for the gals. Get, get the get the link ready, you guys. Let's get the, get get the link ready It'll too. Take me uh, a couple minutes to get the link built, and we'll get that over there. I totally forgot about that. Thanks for bringing that up, Queen. Yeah, you want to you want to get the link ready for our um, to win this apple in the in the in the what are we calling it? Cube. Uh, right now it's frozen apple. Frozen frozen <laughs> apple. Somebody said, why don't you call it frozen apple juice? That's kind of cute. Yeah, we could do that. There's a lot of red right there. It just didn't need like half the tube out there. 
I just got an email, and I, and I usually don't pop over this one, but I did. This is from Laura, uh, Wave and Water class. Just wanted Ginger to know how much I, I am enjoying and learning as a new member. Worth the money. Thanks, Ginger. Oh, that's nice. And thank you, Lori. Laura. That's not the normal email I check during the show. But since so I was going here getting the link, get it ready. I get that link over to the girls any second. Just copy and paste, put in a secret word. You think this stuff is easy, people? That's why I have a whole stuffy staff help me. And what, I want to show you guys something. To, after I do the apple, we're going to talk about how to dry brush. Because I'm getting too many people that are saying that they just don't get what we're doing. And, uh, and for blending. How to use dry brushing for blending. Okay? Well, that feels very frozen to me. Does that feel very frozy to you? I'm shivering over here. Are you shivering over here? Do you feel like that's a definitely a frozy apple? That is a frozy apple. I think I want a little green up here. You know, sometimes they don't always... I'm having fun painting this. Because um, it's just something different, isn't it? For sure, right? Okay, link's been given to the gals, to the mods. They should be having up there any second. I've got this. Oh, a Canadian frozen apple. That's very good. Yeah, it could be. See? Yes, Canadian frozen apple. We have apple. somebody that's remembering. Yeah, it probably should be that, right? Yep, absolutely. And people say, why, why, why Canadian? For whatever reason, YouTube likes us to use the word Canada or Canadian in our titles. We have no idea. Other than we do have a very good presence in Canada. They are number one to the U.S. Number two. And we like Canada. When we were in Canada, we really like, we were close to moving to Canada. I really love it. It's a beautiful country. We still haven't ruled it out as a little summer place. But right now, can't get anywhere. Well, I'm feel I'm feeling the chill, baby. I, I can I can I can sense that. Can you sense that? I can, can sense kinda, that. You can kind of sense that. Hey, what did you guys think of the secret word "frozen"? Huh? Huh? Pretty clever. That's so clever. Well, why did you tell them if it was secret? Well, these people have to know it. So, um, this is fun. I'm just sitting here playing with our frozen ice. I feel, definitely feel like it, we've got a frozen ice cube, yeah? We definitely do. Just um, one here, the white. Does the paint's just on one side. I'll wipe it off. And then just tap it on here. think I think we're pretty close to to done here so last week's question was what is your favorite time of year to paint and overwhelming Amount chose fall autumn. Second to that would be spring. Closely. And they like to just pick up a paintbrush in the spring, or um, no? The time of year they're gonna, if they're going to paint a landscape, what type of what kind of landscape do they like? So it was fall, mm -hmm. autumn, then spring, and then it looks like winter and then summer. 
Oh. I find that interesting. How few people choose any, they don't care. Not very many, though. You would think most people would say all, but it wasn't. It wasn't that many at all. Out of the 300 people, 300 and change, we only had 22 people say all. Interesting. Just little things I like to do, figure what's in your head. It, it, it is interesting. I mean, it is interesting. I, think I would have to say that autumn, and I like autumn and then winter. Level that out a little bit here. There. Okay. Feels more. It feels like we've got a um, pretty good apple here. I'll just finish the. I'm seeing pictures of cows in a pasture on a community puzzle project page. I don't remember having cows on that. <laughs> well, I think there's just. Um, um, didn't you just put that up a picture? That could be one of the villages. Just couldn't oh, that's just the background. No, 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 we're not painting that one. Go to the, uh, don't tell you the village of Alba. We don't tell you what we're, we're No, they painting. don't know what they're painting until Nobody it's done. Nobody knows what they're painting until it's done. That's the whole secret. Until it's like done and I put it together, then they get to see what they, what they were actually trying to paint. Yeah, nobody gets to see it, right? That's the, that's the fun, that's that's the the fun, fun of part it. of it, right? If you knew what you were painting, then where's the challenge in that? Yeah, then it's not, then that's no fun. It's the, it's the unveiling, it's the big, it's the big, big surprise at the end, yes? Does Ginger use the tub of towels to clean her brushes as she paints? No, I just use a rag. Because that would start Very erasing cloth. paint. I don't want to do that. That would start erasing paint. Yeah, they, the tub of towels would clean your brush completely. And they would just, and then it would be on your brush, too. So I don't think that would be as effective. But good question. But no, I, w I would be very hesitant to do something like that. Let's see. We got a little bit of zinc white here. I see a little purple in this, kind of a violet color, down in here maybe. Um, Where I can I get the canvases for the Winter Village collection? Both. Jerry's Artorama and Dick Blick sell them. You're looking for gallery wrap six by eights. And the first set we did, there are uh, one and 13 sixteenths thick. The thicker they are, the easier they will stand on their own. Because what they do is you just stand them up. Some people put little feet on them to make them stay more stable. The last batch we had to get were smaller. I think they're one and a half because they were out of the other ones. So make sure you get enough to do the set. There is currently, there will be nine paintings total in it. We're working up the last of the, why don't we grab that new one we're doing? So you can see the, for those that don't know what we're talking about. We're going to forget we get new people I here. I thought it might be fun to just put in a little reflection in here. It wasn't in your reference, but I'm putting it in anyway because I can't. Well, yeah, right? I, I, wanted, I was going to do a bunch more with that reference, but here, um, I have just yeah. these little things. Okay. Yeah, I can show those. Um, anyway, that was my, my thought on that. Because we have to give people a little bit of time to enter here because I was totally forgot about doing that. I got okay. wrapped up in the, in the excitement of the day. So we'll show you a little bit in a, a little, a little bit. Yeah, I mean that's kind of I, that's kind of fun. Yes and yes. I mean this is different, right? I mean I like the reflection. It needed the reflection, absolutely. Yeah, there's our. Um, I think you are improving upon what I gave you. How is that even possible? Hard oh, to it's know. you. That's right. I forgot. It's the queen. Yeah, it's a How hard to know, John. But you know. Um, isn't fall and autumn the same thing? Yes, they are. But some people don't know the term fall. Some people don't know the term autumn. So I suck them both in there. I don't know which is which. Really? Yeah. What came first? And why do we have to? Because winter we just have winter, summer we have summer. But why does autumn and fall have two? 
Huh. I don't know. I don't either. I'm having fun with my apple. I can see that you are. You can see, but she's kind of layering it on. Okay, so basically I'd say that that, that, that I think that I sort of, uh, except for a few little, ooh, the little white stuff up here kind of disappeared. Just tap that on here, a few little white dots. Well, acrylic's dry darker, so sometimes you think you've done it and you haven't, right? Yeah, when you think you're Ooh, all done. Ooh, just so fun. Lots of, you know, there's lots of little detail and stuff like this that you don't always see the first time you look at it. I'm looking at it again going, ooh. Oohs and ahs. Ooh. This is a lot of light blue here, but... Um, There you go. Well, that that's that's a fun ice cube, isn't it? You know, and I thought about, if now you know how to paint an ice cube, anybody could be in it. Could be a person going out. Let me out. Help, help. Now the tricky part was how do you play, paint an ice cube? Yeah. So it doesn't matter what you put in it. Just put something fun in it. Could be a cookie. Get a little soggy though. Okay. All right, John, I feel like we have got a, you know, like liftoff. We've got an ice cube here. Don't you think so? I believe we do. So, we have a so make sure of you've entered. If you want to, if you would like an opportunity to win this painting. Yeah, i got to enter. I will sign it in a minute. I want to talk to you about dry brushing, okay? We'll leave this up. I want to talk to you about dry brushing. And that's the canvas you're going to use. I'm going to use it. Just a minute. We'll just paint over. we got a lot of red. You can paint over it when we're done. Okay. All right, so normally when you think about blending, you take, say, a color like this. Let's just take some red here, like this, right? Well let's, well, let's add some white to it so that you can see it, right? Well, I don't think you'd see that. All right, new, new, canvas. new canvas. Let's try a green canvas. There you go. Okay. Oh, so, a great new green canvas. canvas let's, let's try that. So we got a little bit of, we got some red here, right? And I've got some white over here, and I want to blend these together. And they're both wet. So what I can do is I can wipe the brush off completely. Don't rinse it, just wipe it. And I can come over the center of these two, of where the wet edge is. And I can do that. And I can get a pretty good blend. You see that? Where this edge blends in with that. Very so that's what you. most people think of blending. And then you just you make it a little lighter than you intended to. And that sort of blends that in, yeah? But... What people are having trouble is I don't understand how you how you blend something, but mostly the most effective dry and that's one way, and it works on large areas and stuff and stuff. But and you need enough paint to do that. If you don't put enough paint on there, if you get it real flat like this, and then you get it real flat over here like this, you're going to ruin your brushes trying to blend those two together because you didn't use enough paint. It's the biggest problem. Or if you use a lot of water, okay. Got a lot of water, and you got some more water, and you think, you know, here's your light color, and then you're just going to put more water. What happens is, is that nothing, it doesn't look right. Got, you thinned it out, nothing happened. It doesn't look like this. So the secret isn't using more water, it's using more paint. That's your tip of the day. I mean, right that's there. your tip of the day. Now, if you were going to dry brush something on, Sometimes it's nice to use a stiff brush. And let's suppose I want to just take some blue. And I'm going to dry brush some blue on. So I'm going to do something like this. I've got some blue. No, no water on the brush. Then I'm going to take some light paint, maybe. Some white. And I want a lighter, something lighter on top of that. And I'll wipe all the paint off. Using the side of my brush, I'm doing that. And then maybe I'll take some white and yellow and do a green here. I'm going to do something like this, wipe all the paint off, and use the side of the brush and blend that in, see? Then when this is dry, I might do, say, purple and white, and very gently, this would have to be dry, come on top of here with another color. And, and this is how you can blend and add all kinds of tones to stuff, but you dry each layer, which That's I'm not doing secret. right now. That's The secret is drying it, so you're either going to be doing it like this, or you're going to do it in thin layers, and and that when you're doing it in these thin layers like this, 
you put the paint on the brush, wipe it off, barely touch it, and go over it again. And then you dry it. And, and maybe you're going to do another color, and you can build up all kinds of shadows and lights and stuff. And they won't go muddy on you like this is because it's over wet paint. So the secret is to dry. But that's how you do that. So if you're not getting good blending 99% of the time, you do too much water or you're not using enough paint. So that is my two cents on that, which I think, I hope, hopefully that is very, uh, very helpful. Yes and yes. You need to pop those village pieces up. We have a couple more questions on those. Sure. So here's our, um, here's the village pieces. And the newest one coming out is going to be this one. We're releasing this with a coffee shop. But what they are, they're these cute little Christmas scenes or holiday scenes. And this is the winter village. We have a summer village too. This is the winter village. And they come in sets of two. And they're only available on a gingercookondemand.com. And they're these are gallery wrap paintings. We even paint the ups, you know, the bottom of them, the top of them, so they can be sitting uh, stand upright. Up on end. They can stand up on end. Now We've those got, are uh, considered a six by eight six gallery by eight, wrap. Yeah, six by eight gallery wrap. And it's a one and thirteen sixteenths. Yeah. So, um, th th you know, here's a little switch on. They all are designed to go together, and we have a set. I think, and we're adding two more this summer. Okay. So that should be re out in a week or so. We'll have the next two. I'm going to do one more thing to this before I close off on it. Um, well, make sure you get your entry. Then you do want to show those other apples we brought over for you there. Yeah, I'm going to show the other apples. I want to do just... Putting a little... Just a little, kind of putting back a little glare on the ice. Just a little glare on the ice and put it back on that leaf. What do you think? I think it needed it. Yeah. So, um, and as to the other other uh, apple pieces, um, what the, this this particular one is a free, this is free on our beginner acrylic website. This is a free tutorial to anybody that wants to do it. And that um, gives you a chance to see the kind of lessons that we teach in the academy. Yeah. Is a full-fledged, uh, it's considered a one cookie or introductory lesson. Yeah, and this is free, and, and it's and, and nice to do, and it's, it kind of shows you how to do a blended background and some of this. And then um, we have in the series of just, you know, learning, There's a, we've got about eight or ten apple paintings in our, in our academy. Here's another one, which we, again, it's very similar to the apple I painted today with the, with the colors, yeah? And, uh, and then we've got this one with the books. So this is more an advanced lesson when we're talking about perspective and stuff like this. So there's a lot of techniques that go into painting. And um, you can see some of the dry brushing blending techniques that are in this one. So anyway, um, we invite you to uh, join the Academy of Fine Art Acrylic Painting. Where well, you more. also get personal art coaching. Yeah, you get that. You can send me your, your you know, you send me your artwork. And That's I can... on the uh, gingercooklive.gallery website. Yeah. That is available feature and something you should take advantage of while we still have the queen here. Yeah, I mean, you know, that that's right. I mean, uh, you don't know anymore, do you? And you've got a professional artist willing to, to look at your artwork and make great suggestions and cheer you on. So, and uh, again, we have a limited number of people we can do that for. When we reach that number, then you'll still have access to the website. But the people that join now and never drop out our guaranteed art coaching from me. Al said the apple was the first one that he painted and it, from the academy and learned how to blend from it. Yep, that's a great blending lesson in that one. Oh, it is, isn't it? That's why it's in there. All right, we're getting ready to make the, the pick of the litter. Yeah, you guys, and just uh, have fun with this. You know, I, thought, I hope this, I, I don't know, it was, I'm very curious if people, I'm just, for the question of the day for me would be, while well, John's waiting to, to pick the thing, and my question would be at the end of this, you know, leave in the comments, was, was this, did you guys think this was fun? You know, was this a fun thing to do? I'm very curious. You thought this was fun? Or have fun. I just gone off the reservation? Is that what you're trying to find out? Yeah. <laughs> I, you know I heard that, right? Even but, though you said it very softly. That you went off the reservation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
I Could, hear you. Did the question? The question is, did John go off the reservation? Yes and yes, right? Did he? I'd say no and no. Inquiring minds want to know, right? All right, how many entrees do we have for this lovely apple that's frozen? All right, frozen apple. How to paint an ice cube. And I use your imagination. Anything could go in there. So you got a few people that think that they'd like to take that home? 254 souls would like it. All right. And remember, we're also going to be drawing for the Salvador, brand new Salvador paint kit. And uh, I think this is the last weekend to use the, our coupon code, too, if you want to catch it. These whole things are like $25 on Amazon, and we think they're a great deal. And um, you get the brushes and, you know, 24 paints, but an extra white and uh, uh, a palette knife and some stuff. And we think that, you know, they're great uh, introduction to acrylics. And you can see I painted, you know, this with that and was very well, happy we painted with the some, We painted some big stuff with it. Did, yeah. Did one big one with it. They, they are super... It's a super one to travel with, for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, we got, we got a winner. That probably wants this, I would think. This one is going to be going to Michigan. Michigan? No kidding. Michigan, uh, they do a lot of apples in Michigan. Not like Washington. No, Washington was the apples. That's know? the apple. We had apples in a vending machine when I was a kid in school. Or a dime or something, you'd get one. Apple and ice cube. Yeah, apple and an ice cube. Okay, so you got know, something, something fun and different to do. Yeah. It is a little different. And who, who's our who's our winner for the um? Okay. Oh, while he's showing you that, I'm going to show you. If you back out a bit, this is the academy lesson called social distance before social distancing. That's the one that's going to be released tomorrow. Uh, in our academy for this week's uh, uh, lesson, um, again it's on a 12 by 12 a square, and it's just, you know, it's just sort, of, it's just sort of an abstract, um, kind of fun, some, a totally different style than say, our um, our ice cream thing. But not everybody wants, not everybody wants to learn how to paint the same things. And we're going to show you how I de deconstructed an old dead artist, who did something very serious, and how we came up with that. It's really neat. Really a neat lesson on design. We'd like to congratulate Kim Ranlett. Ranlett. Kim Ranlett is the winner of the Ice Cube painting. Oh, Kim, congratulations. And she lives in Michigan? She does live in Michigan. Well, well, it gets cold up there too, right? <laughs> I'm afraid it does. Okay. Good for you, Kim. Congratulations. That's awesome. Let's go get our winner for, I believe, our last Salvador kit. I have to get with my gal and find out, but I think that's it. I think it is, huh? I think this it is. is going to be going to Oklahoma. Ooh. Fun, right? Nice. Oklahoma. All right. That's, a, that's, that's nice. Um, I don't think we've sent anything to Oklahoma yet. I don't believe so. Cinnamon and I and her dad went to Oklahoma one time and uh, with our horses and did a competitive trail ride there. And her dad got kicked out of the ride for being a smartass. <laughs> I find that so unusual. He got so bored, he turned around on his horse and rode backwards for a while because he thought it was such a bore. He was so bored. It was competitive, long, you know. So they kicked anyway. him out for doing that? Well, they felt it was very disrespectful, and it was. You know, it's like, you know, like somehow, he, we were from California, and we were these hot shots from California, and it was the President's Cup winner, and it made it sound, it, it made us look bad, is what he did. It made us look really bad, like we were dissing everybody. And I could have killed him, you know, but, you know, what can you do? I divorced him instead. That'll know, teach him. <laughs> winner, like, winner of the Salvador paint kit is, and I'm sorry... Your name will just stump me, but I think Ramelda Bird. Oh, Miss Bird, okay. Ramelda, okay. All right. So anyway, if you thought this was fun, and if you just enjoy these funny kind of crazy things, uh, you know, hope you enjoy. <laughs> if you like John's pick, just in just the comments, know. let us know. Anyway, we enjoyed you coming, and we thank you for being here, and we hope everybody had a good time.
Hey, we had a couple of people ask about John's famous waffles. That's going to be coming up at the end here. Can yeah, John. Yeah, I mean, we eat those waffles a couple times. You know, you know, I at least I, I at least three times a week for me. And we know people that just said there's their Sunday thing is John's waffles, and it's probably the best waffle recipe I've ever seen. He's going to play it for you guys. Just uh, you, you can't believe how cool it is. So we'll see you on Monday. Monday. Seven thirty Central. Bye, everyone. 5.30 Central. Bye.